guys today I'm going to be showing you how to insert and install a G8 lens into a, a dial laser. So now the question are how far this screws in and some of the issues that people are having is too loose. Okay, so some people are making a 3D printing head for it. If you don't have a 3D printing, you know, devices and you can get to have somebody make you the head to, to, in, to put it to make it stop from losing. I found a way how to stop it from doing this. Okay, uh, the lens goes in. Uh, there's a little cut that cut stays outside, so basically the lens goes in in this direction. Okay, I'm wearing gloves just so I won't leave any fingerprints on the lens. Uh, first, we remove the older lens. The difference between the lenses is the reason this one moves is because this housing here. The housing have a little rubber here is like a washer that stops it from even rocking a little bit plus this lens goes in a little bit further than this one. Uh, you can see the difference. The lenses, this one's a little bit deeper compared to the other one. The lens is inside. This is all over to the edge. So the lens comes in with this piece of metal that you can stick here and just to help you tie it in. What I end up doing, I mean, I just grinded it down. Now I can use it as a washer. So what I did was, let me show you how I installed it. So here, let me give you a better look of it. So you'll use it as a washer, something like this. I just want to show you better. Uh, something like this. So now, again, lens goes up. This will be as a washer. You'll take a couple of time. You don't have to play with it. Uh, just move it around uh, until you get a best result. Then you just take it off again and you know, install it. I have very fat fingers, basically, and I, how I did it, just hold it with my finger and just twist it until I get the thread going in. Of course, you're going to have a little bit of hard time because your laser is going to be mounted upside down, and then all you got to do is just a couple thread, and it will work fine. And then it stops, check it out. If you need to adjust it more, open it back up, and then just screw the bolt in or unscrew it. It depends on your need. And I see this is the best way to stop it from moving. And if you really, you know, want to a little bit tie it a little more, just take a piece of steel after it's in there and just just give it a little twist. This will tie hundred percent and it will not move. Again guys, here's the best way to install it. Take that head that comes in with it, it's supposed to go here. Grind it down, machine it, or however whatever you want to do it. I just use the sandpaper. I took my time back and forth until I cut the head off, basically make it like a nut. And then I screw it all the way. And uh, now I use it as a washer. As a, basically like a stopper from twisting. And that helps a lot. Your laser will not move. If you don't do this, you're not going to get the 100% result out of that out of that lens because it will move on you it is heavy the machine is moving left and right if you don't pay attention that lens will unscrew and you will end up getting a bad result and that's why people are complaining oh, I'm not seeing a lot of good results because yes within one use it was moving and I thought it was not working but it was not the case the lens unscrewed and was lost. I hope this helped you guys how to install it again. The cuts goes outside, lens goes in, and you only need a couple threads. I want to say like maybe two to three threads. Okay, uh, if you go in too much, you'll see a big dot blue. That means you're too far in. Okay, so you need uh, with this lens, you can actually see, see a small. Uh, dotted line like I want to say this big something very small okay very powerful lens nice lens uh, thank you guys again
I hope you like the video.